of it during this three month period as well. So if we bought materials all on account, then materials would go up. So I'm going to say raw materials is going to go up with a debit. And then we're going to credit uh, accounts payable here. So I'm going to do this fairly quickly. Accounts payable here. And that's going to equal, I'm just going to say plus or equal to the amount in our raw materials right there. And that's going to be the transaction to record the purchases of our raw materials. Again, we haven't recorded the payment of cash for some of them, but that'll record the purchases. So we got raw materials. It's going to go up here and not tax payable. It should be accounts payable and then accounts payable will be here and then we'll record that transaction. So now we've kind of recorded basically the activity for the raw materials here and we'll move on to the finished. So next I want to think about basically how much of those raw materials we used and were transferred from raw materials to finished goods. Now note we don't have any work in process here. We're basically saying that we're going to complete them through the process. So in order to do that, we basically have to do the uh, cost of goods manufactured if we really want to check that number. So here's a budgeted cost of goods manufactured. And if we think about the, the raw materials, we have what we started off, the raw materials that we started off, plus the raw materials that we purchased, less the raw materials at the end. And you can look at the prior video on how we calculated uh, this raw material at the end here. And then if, if we uh, calculate that out, then this is going to be the direct materials that are going to go from raw materials to finished goods. So I'm going to go ahead and journalize that transaction. That process is going to be finished goods is going to go up with a debit like this. And we're